Morning all. Uh, one of the mysteries that I find of the Kona Electric is the GOM and how the um, gasometer, the range on the car, uh, how it's indicated to it, and how, how it changes and uh, whether it does change with just the economy of your driving and how many miles before it does change, all those sort of things. So for example, I'm out in the car now, I'm sat here, it's minus two degrees outside, completely frosted over. Um, so I'm now about to defrost it and go out for a drive. So I thought I would see what the GOM says right now, uh, which is exactly the same as it said yesterday in four degree brilliant sunshine. It hasn't changed even though it's minus two now. So if we turn the heating on, Whoa, 176. That's um, that's a big drop, isn't it? Um, with just the heater on. So yeah. And if you turn the dial on the fan speed, it makes a big difference. Anyway, so I'm just going to let the car defrost, and then I'm going to set off and see what the GOM and the efficiency says, etc. On a very short 10 mile trip just to see how the gasometer uh, changes, but I'm only going out to get some milk. Okay, let's reset the accumulated information so we can see exactly what the efficiency is. And I've turned the fan speed down to one, the outside temperature has dropped a degree to minus three, and the heating is off. So I'm not going to drive with any heating, any heated seats, no heated steering wheel, nothing at all. And currently the car is now showing 226 miles. So we've lost one mile of range defrosting the car and it still says 85% and that's uh, where we were before. But it's just dropped one mile and that's it. I've been doing this uh, test run quite a few times um, with different varying conditions with the heating off and I'm going to do one with the heating on. The idea of the tests which I'll report later is just to see what temperature difference um, makes to the range of the car and the efficiency of the car, just the temperature and nothing else. And that's what I'm interested in because yes, when it's colder, you have the heating on more. So my question is, is it the fact that you've got the heater on more that's causing the loss of efficiency or is it that the battery isn't driving as well, isn't giving you the same performance? And that's the reason for me doing these tests. So yeah, we're only in um, 30 mile an hour limits here, uh, going really slowly. Um, I am being as gentle as I can on the throttle. But for me, this is a very short way of testing efficiency like for like. I can drive as efficiently as I can in the conditions. And uh, if I do it multiple times, I should get some results that make some sense. From my experience of driving the Kona so far on longer distance journey, the, the heater doesn't really make a huge amount of difference, even in winter conditions, that once it's up to um, temperature in the first, um, I don't know, first 10, 15 miles, both the car and the battery to some degree, then the efficiency seems to climb. So for me, setting out on a day like today, you know, with the heating on, I'd probably only get 1.9, 2.5 as a maximum um, efficiency in the first few miles, and then it would gradually creep up into the threes. And if I was doing over 100 miles, then it would probably creep up to around four, driving economically right at the end. But if all you're doing is short journeys, 10, 20 mile journeys, and the car's only ever heating up all the time, then the proportion of energy used to heat the car versus to actually drive the car um, will be greater. So of course, you know, heating makes a bigger difference. So the only electronics that I've got in the car at the moment is the uh, lights. The lights are on, um, but being LED, they shouldn't be using hardly any energy. That's just a short stop to grab some milk, uh, which was the whole reason to coming out. But uh, rather than just doing that, I thought I'd do this test as well. It is amazing on really foggy days like this, how many cars are driving around with just side lights on. Clearly you know, they're automatic lights and they're just not thinking to put the headlights on. And there we go, we've arrived back again and 219 miles left, so we've used 7, but we've done 8.7 miles. So no, just because it's cold, the GOM does not go down. It's more to do with whether you're using the heater and also your driving style. So it's 
basically adjusting it according to the miles per kilowatt hour that you're getting your efficiency rather than the temperature outside and that makes sense because if you're getting amazing efficiency who cares how cold it is outside i'll update you on the results of my tests in the next few weeks but until then thanks for watching and see you again soon bye for now